reflected on these first few weeks of, of your career so far? Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's it's really cool to be to be up here to to get playing time and uh, play with play, play in the NHL, play with all those, those guys. I mean, uh, I think we we as a team we we, we try to. To work every day, get better every day. I think we've, we've had some good games where we not have haven't gotten the result, but we're, we're working every day, and I think that's that's the biggest thing we, we try to do. Just uh, get better every day. What's it kind of meant to earn the, the trust from the coaches to play, you know, the role that you have, so oh, yeah, the minutes you have? Yeah, man, it's, 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 it's really cool. I mean, uh, the, the guys helped me a lot just just coming in here, and uh, they make it easy for me to, to come and, 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 and play, and I'm, I'm just trying to do my best whenever I got out there. If it's, if it's on a power play, PK, like just 5-on-5, just, five five, just doing my, my best every day in practice as well. And, so, yeah. How do you just, uh, you know, when the puck isn't going in but you're getting chances, like, how do you not... Get yeah, obviously it's hard. Uh, obviously, you want to score. You always want to score. But uh, I think, like I said, we're just trying to. Like we haven't gotten the results maybe as we want, so we're just trying to work hard every day, like in games, in practices. And I think that's that's what, what your focus have to be on. Like if you don't score, just just make the right things. Like still do do the stuff you can can so you can help the team win. You just talked a little bit about how you are constantly seeking feedback and you know things to work and improve on. What's that kind of been like for you to seek out that information? Yeah, I mean, all of this, like the staff, the players, like all of them have like been around for for some time, and uh, so it's it's really good if we, if like I watch like video after after games and they show me what I can do better and stuff like that. So even on the ice, just just working on small details and and that, that helps a lot for sure. Are you someone who pulls out the iPad on the bench, or you like to wait till the game's over? Uh, I mean, every now and then I'll, I'll take a look at it, but uh, I think I think like I. Watch over. Like, I think everybody watches over their shifts uh, after a game, like we do with, with, with our coaches, assistant coaches, and uh, they just tell us what we could could do better. And I think it's 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 really big for like younger players, but even like the, the older guys to to get feedback on uh, on the games and, and and their shifts. How do you feel like your chemistry is coming along with Vladimir and, and Jonathan? I think it's 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 really good. Like we, we talk a lot of, uh, off the ice as well. Like on the ice, we we fun playing together. I think even maybe like the production hasn't been there, like obviously. But uh, I think we we create chances, we get chances, and uh, we'll work hard every day to to, to score some goals as well. Thanks, Marco. Um, we are going to get Joe Villano back in. Uh, so Tyler Mott out, and we're going to go the same decor. And Kame Talbot will be in net. And Pila Husso is still backing up? Yep, uh, Husso will be backing up tonight. So again, we'll see how Alex handles the skate today. And um, the, are the lines changing or anything? Uh, no, we'll probably no. put Joe back where okay, he was. But, yeah. Probably those uh, the same nine uh, we had the other day and the same 12 we had uh, prior to Saturday. Anything more you can do with it? I mean, obviously you guys were counting for quite a bit more production from Vladimir Tarasenko. And I know we've talked a lot about his chances, but like... Yeah, it's I, a month in and two goals. The answer to that is yes. There's a ton that we could do more. Very frustrating game the other day, obviously, just because you know some things we've been working on translated. I mean, we were one of our best nights underlying numbers. I mean, we almost outchanged them three, four to one. It doesn't happen in this league, but watching it back, there's more we can do to get to the net. There's more to do in those hard areas. There's more to do in those shooting areas. It's just taking some of those chances back if we did a little more um, I think it would be a little more successful so yes that's a good question and, and we can do more to produce offense and specifically with Tarasenko I mean do you see do you need to see him go to the net more or maybe a little that uh, again it's just it sounds like a broken record it's frustrating I put Bergie in the same situation you would like to think shooting percentage wise as long as he keeps getting those looks um, even the feeds I mean he puts Beautiful two-on-one play to bring on the back door, open net, and you know, gets an unbelievable save by Quick. So yeah, he probably fits into the same boat of just a little more direct, a little more predictable with our offense. Uh, maybe even a little more of the Joe Villano goal, uh, where we got a little puck luck because he's in the hard area. Can you see what happened to Pittsburgh the other night? What are your thoughts? Well, I just think we'll get their best. It's a proud group, that core, that's extremely well coached. It's a similar situation we played them last time. If you recall, they came off a 6 nothing loss at home to the uh, Rangers, and we got a very motivated group. Uh, that was one of those games that their top-end guys, um, Crosby and Malkin, took over. So, it's again, it's going to be on us. Uh, would love for us to replicate uh, some of the success we had on Saturday, 
Um, but I have to do it. It's my one worry about having four days in between games. I have to sit on that for a while. Uh, but So I think it's going to be more about us. But I, I, I know we'll get their best tonight. When you watch the Penguins and the Red Wings history, it's pretty crazy game, especially in this building between the two teams. Yeah, I mean, even last year, the last time we were in this building, there was an 11-goal overtime game. When both teams were pushing uh, for a playoff spot. So uh, like us to hopefully give up a little less offense than what we did in this building last time. Derek, can you talk about getting to the net a little more often? How big a part of that can the second line be with a couple of bigger bodies? And yeah, yeah I think second line, but even I think on a whole, of course. Like, I think it's just it's got to be a mentality. I mean, even reviewing that game back, one of our best clips of getting the hard area, taking the goalie's eyes away, was to bring it. And so I just think it's a mentality on a whole. But of course, you would hope for some some bigger bodies uh, to get to that net. What, is it, what does it say about Marco that in making your lineup decisions, he's, he stayed in? I mean, the guy with, you know, a dozen or so NHL games. Yeah, energy, perfect. I think, he, again, it's, it's, a, it's a frustrating uh, lineup of late because that line's been very good but hasn't produced, and he's been part of that. But he brings energy, he wins battles. Um, he, he's, he brings pop to our group, if you will. Uh, been a huge positive and starting to cement himself uh, in his role. Just have a question about, gen a general question about the way the game's being played these days. You look at a lot of games, there's a lot of room in the neutral zone these days. You see teams flying through there like, and there's, you know, like the Penguins have given up a lot of odd man breaks, but they get their yeah. share too. But it just seems like the game's a little bit more of a race out there. You know, Could be. I mean, you're always working pace through the neutral zone, speed through the neutral zone. You like to beat teams into their coverage. The one, I think the unique, even as a coach, it's a very similar league throughout the entire league, as you can see, even the most simple hockey mind can see that. But the one difference is people are over the place in the neutral zones. There's a lot of one one threes, there's a lot of one three ones, there's a lot of one two twos, and they can all be beat with speed. So there's no perfect area, but I think it's more of a mentality of, of, of getting pace through the neutral zone uh, than the coverage. Does that start with the back end, more or less, you think? It or could you? be. No, I think it's all. It starts mm -hmm. with all five guys being connected. It's like any of your mm -hmm. and your systems and structure. Um, I mean, we, we, we had a time when we were a really good 1-1-3 one, one, team, but we just teams would just come pound pucks into the yellow. I mean, it's, it's tough to defend against. There's times we've been excellent with a 1-2-2. It's like any structure, if you do it properly with an edge, it can be successful. You brought up Pop. Uh, Lucas had so much of it when you guys were in here last year. Not the same amount of goal scoring so far. What are you seeing from him? Because obviously his assists are there, his points are there. Yeah, points are there. Obviously he's on pace for a point a game. I mean, that's elite in this league. Uh, so if he probably would, would reflect a little of our overall team. Uh, could shoot the puck a little more. He's, he's, he's deferred on some passes. Maybe get to that hard area a little bit more, a little more assertive with this game. Uh, but again, very good player. One more, Casper. How are you seeing him kind of adjust to the NHL, or was he kind of ready to go and polish before? Yeah, I think he's. I'm certainly not completely polished. There's plenty of room for growth. I think it's part of that develop on the fly. Some of these younger guys. He's helping our group right now, but you still have to develop them, and you can just see structurally. I mean, his fingerprints, as well as he played, was all over the second goal against, which was a backbreaker for us. He gave up six chances all game, and that was a glaring one. But I think that's just growth. He learned the fly and he builds off that but huge positive his hockey sense is great uh, he has great awareness uh, what I like about a player like that is his willingness to get better uh, after every game he wants more information he's seeking more he's seeking touches um, uh, I th it's, it's a reason he keeps going like this he's gonna be a very good player in this league how does he do in a situation like this where the points haven't been there for him I again I th again I think it probably reflects our group where he is getting those looks I mean he hits, he beats quick the other night, hits his knob. So at least he's getting those looks. But I think it's more about probably that more predictable hockey, what we're going to ask of all of our guys, you know, maybe with some ozone habits, maybe with getting to the net, uh, because he's certainly willing. Um, so I think those offense will continue to come uh, because he does a lot of the right things. I just mean, like, how does he how does he handle, like, processing that? Like, is he somebody... Who, he seems like good. No, no, really good. Yeah. I th yeah, I think it's a good question because he processes. I think he's the kind of guy, like, he's like a lot of young guys in this league. They, they need and want instant foot feedback. Okay, I have zero goals in eight games. He wants to know why. Show me. 
which is today's NHL, and he's willing and, and why he's going to be a good player. That's kind of what you mentioned, I think, maybe last year about Simon, that he was would knock on Bob's oh, yeah. door before it was... First, exactly. But yeah. that's today, it's, that's that's the those, these guys' development's real. It's, it's just kind of what they know. Um, they want that instant feedback, and they want a lot of it, and I think it's just the direction of the league right now. So do you put, like... Not open. So no, we we <laughs> want that because sometimes you're dragging guys into those yeah. meetings. Uh, so we love the fact when guys are knocking on doors. How how badly do you not want to be part of six hundred for sale? Well, I, not in a negative way. If we win and we get six hundred, kind of cool to watch. <laughs> but uh, yeah, of course, and you, this this. Uh, you see that in this league all the time. Those special type players. Obviously, you don't want to be at the part of that, but. Um, you know, we'll, we'll let that play out tonight. I'm trying to remember any teams having 600 or 500 on the same team in the same. That's a good question. But and I love the fact today's NHL, where the, the group celebrates on the ice with them. I think that's an unbelievable move by the league. But it's tough to swallow sometimes. So score 600, they're allowed to. I, I would think so. Yeah, I know that's happened with 500, and I would hope to see that. It's just it's kind of a, a special honor for a unique accomplishment. Sure is. Thanks, Thanks,